Hey guys, what's going on? And this is the Nexus launcher. Is it supposed to be a replacement for the Google Now launcher? Let's find out. Now here's nothing too fancy. It's a very minimal launcher that helps you get your work done in a breeze. It's a very fast launcher with a few pros and cons here and there. Now I have been using this launcher for about 4 days or more by now and here's what I feel about it. The launcher gladly is very minimal at least to my taste. The Google search bar has been shrunken down towards the left hand side of the screen and on the right hand side we have the date and day widget. Both of these by the way cannot be removed or changed so you have to live with it. Personally that's not a big issue with me because I really like the new style. Down below as you have already noticed, no dock and with no dock there is no menu button. No the apps are not all on the home screens, you do have a proper menu and to access it all you need to do is swipe. Simple and clean. The new folders icon is also pretty neat. Surprisingly the Google Now page still exists on the left side but it can be turned off from the launcher settings. I really like how the developers worked on this and created such an elegant launcher. I must appreciate the amount and the quality of wallpapers provided within this launcher but these wallpapers do get downloaded first before you apply them. But you do have a huge gallery of wallpapers to choose from with various themes and all these wallpapers are in high definition. There are a few downsides to the launcher too but I guess they can be excused knowing that this is still in a beta version and it's not out on the Google Play yet. So here are what might be a turn down for most of you. So firstly, you can't really change the grid size of the home screens or the app drawer at all. You are stuck with a 4x4 grid and if you like to keep more than 16 apps on your home page or you like to fill your home page with a lot of widgets, you might want to look around for something else. However, I do expect it to come with a grid changer settings in the future official build. Next up, those widgets on the top, as I said earlier, can't be changed or removed at all. They are just there, no customizability on that area as well. And along with this, uh, no specific dock or an app drawer button. These two things don't really matter much to me, but I know about people for whom these things might be a deal breaker. Now let's come to the biggest con of this launcher. That is the installation. While you can go ahead and install this as an APK and download it as any other app, there is another way to install this launcher that is via flashing its zip file. Installing it through the APK will make the launcher crash while you enter into the wallpaper menu and the swipe left to Google now won't work at all. This might bug most of you out there. So the fix is install it via a recovery. You can download the zip file and it will fix the problems. The main differences here are that while it's installed as an APK, your phone treats it like a third party app. But as soon as you flash it via a recovery, it becomes a system app and it never crashes. But for that, you have to be rooted. So here are my final thoughts on it. For me, this is the best launcher I have ever had keeping aside the minor cons it has today. I would definitely keep this as my primary launcher until the Nexus Launcher 2 comes out. By the way, I have made some customizations to my home screen here which makes my home screen look even better than the stock Nexus Launcher so you can know more about that by heading into the description down below. The zip file and the APK file will also be linked in the description down below so make sure to go ahead and check that out if you want to try that. Also, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. So that's it for now guys and I'll see you all later.